Thank you, Speaker. Mr Speaker, Meals on Wheels runs six separate centres in Moreton Bay, four in my electorate of Longman, situated in Burpengary, Woodford, Caboolture and Bribey Island. This trusted organisation receives government funding at both the state and federal level, the Queensland State Government providing a flat rate of funding of $42,000 per annum, which works out at $5.79 per meal, which obviously decreases per meal as their client base expands, and the federal government provides funding of $10.77 per meal. To give an idea of the enormity of the work Meals on Wheels do in the Moreton Bay region, they provided 124,009 meals in the 23-24 calendar year. That's around 476 meals per day, and the demand keeps growing. Unfortunately, the state and federal government funding only covered the cost of 115,376 meals, which meant that extra funding for almost 9,000 meals had to be found. But the question is, how do Meals on Wheels fund these extra meals they provide? I'm glad you asked, Speaker. First, they do outside catering, which they managed to double last financial year, and they also receive donations. Their hardworking and diligent staff often donate many hours at no cost, and their dedicated general manager, Wendy Smith, does her best to control costs. Costs that, like every other household, business and organisation around the country, have skyrocketed, skyrocketed under the current government. Money simply isn't going as far as it used to, Mr Speaker. Employee costs have risen by, risen by $180,000 in the past 12 months, water costs have doubled, and electricity costs have risen by over 75 per cent, or $24,000 in real terms. Now, in the interest of fairness, Mr Speaker, I want to also acknowledge that federal funding has increased as well in that period, but simply by not enough. The raw cost of the produce has increased from $658,102 to $823,386. The bottom line is, is that the small increase in funding is simply well short of covering the massive increase in costs. What does this mean practically, Speaker? Well, it means that tough decisions have to be made so that this wonderful, well-respected community organisation will continue to provide their much-needed services to so many in the community of Longman. I'm sad to report that three staff will lose their job this week. Recipients will incur a 50 cent increase in meals, and with the average customer receiving five meals per week, this will add another $130 per year to their budget, or worse still, if they can't afford that, they will simply have to skip meals and at times go hungry. From September, they will no longer be operating on a Monday in Moreton Bay. That's right, they're closing every Monday. Now, what is the latest federal and state government response to this dilemma, Speaker? Meals on Wheels received the news that, as, as of August 1, funding was frozen, and they would no longer receive additional federal funding for any new clients in a cost of living crisis. Go figure. I spoke to Wendy, and she said they received requests from 47 new clients for meals in just the first two days of this month. And under this Labor government's decision to freeze funding on meals, these people will be given the news that Meals on Wheels can't help them. Where do these clients come from, Mr Speaker? Well, many are referred to Meals on Wheels by aged care workers. Many are referred from hospital when they are discharged. So this most vulnerable cohort are being neglected due to, to, to this decision to freeze me, Meals on Wheels funding. It's a disgrace and a cost of living crisis. So what are the solutions, Deputy, uh, Mr Speaker? Well, first, Meals on Wheels need both state and federal governments to increase funding that at least covers the crazy homegrown inflation we have endured over the past two years and increased demand due to more, pe more people experiencing harder times. Meals on Wheels are doing their part and trying to save costs as well. Their solution, which I fully support, is to build one mega kitchen that would do the cooking for all six centres in the Moreton Bay region I have mentioned, as well as some of the centres on the Sunshine Coast. So, in effect, this one kitchen would do the meals for at least 10 centres, and the existing centres would become distribution points only, not meal preparation facilities. This means the running costs of one kitchen, not 10. The cost of maintaining one kitchen, not 10. The cost of powering one kitchen, not 10. It makes great economic sense, and I commend Wendy for her vision of how to supply more of these much needed, lower cost, nutritious meals. Speaker, it's not only the physical support that Meals on Wheels offers, for many recipients, the friendly Meals on Wheels volunteer delivery driver is the only person they may have contact with, and we must at all costs ensure this vital service continues. Thank you. The question